All right, guys, here we go. We are ready for uh, starting these things. Um, first off, I will post uh, URLs to each of the brackets. There's a fourth gen bracket and a fifth gen bracket. Um, so I'll put those in the description as well so you guys can click on those from wherever the hell you end up being um, if you want to watch or take a look at those um, so you can see your matchups. Um, every name that's on there is the exact same as the YouTube name that the person signed up with on the last video. So all you have to do is just highlight, you know, copy that name itself, youtube.com slash, paste it in there. You'll go to their channel, send them a message. Um, takes like two seconds and that's probably the easiest way to talk to, you know, whoever your opponent is. Something that obviously all of us have a YouTube account in order to, you know, whatever. So um, it should be reliable enough. Um, so there's that, um, ch -ch -ch -ch. and then obviously, of course, I'll I'll leave the other vid up there for to hopefully answer some questions. Um, and then I guess we're just gonna kind of break things down. Um, as far as with the fourth gen tournament, um, fourth gen has 37 players, and the fifth gen has 60. Um, it's gonna be Swiss rounds. Um, there's six rounds for each tournament. They both kind of work out that way. Um, and then a few specific. Um, things that we wanted to address, various questions and uh, other like clarifications that rules needed um, as well. So we're gonna obviously because you know not everyone may necessarily be ready yet. Oh, my mic's down here, not my camera. Um, ever, since everyone may not be ready yet, they haven't necessarily gotten their word or their team, you know, all set up, or they wanted like their question answered before they you know made a final decision on what they're gonna use. Um, it would be great if people could get you know the first round done during this weekend obviously you know super bowl and all sorts of jazz but uh not everyone's american i guess either but um it would be great if we could get it done this weekend but again because it's the first round not everyone's gonna necessarily be ready um we'll certainly go through for the, until the end of next weekend for the first round um since i also i know some people can only play on weekends which is a major freaking hassle so hopefully we don't have to do one week per round. Hopefully we can speed things up a little bit more than that. But uh, we'll have to figure crap like that out as we go. And um, as far as, let's see, were there anything I've written on here? Okay, as far as uh, some specific questions people had, some people wondered about Del Caddy with Normalize. Since it makes, for example, T-Bolt makes it normal type and gives it stab, that's totally fine. Um, uh, we're not going to allow Endeavor. Um, some of these are going to be like specific reasons. Some of them are just like debated in the Zat um, and kind of discussed a little bit. So there's not Endeavor in either gen. Um, if people want to use Mimic or Assist or Metronome, that's fine in both gens. Um, knockoff, actually somebody mentioned Knockoff. Um, and we're going to definitely allow that um, with Rapid Spin in like that ex or the exception area. Because um, it's kind of more utility than an attack anyway. And, you know, let's be fair, there's still bad items clause, so what are you really knocking off? But, hey, you know, maybe getting rid of that citrus berry will be worth it. Maybe you should use pluck instead. <laughs> um, somebody mentioned a question on the move soak in 5th gen, and that's totally not going to be allowed. That'll be banned. Um, allowing you just to soak whatever the hell came in every single turn. Like, that seems dumb. Um, unfortunately, on the opposite side, um, with... Kecleon or Kelsion, I don't know how you guys want to pronounce his name. I suck at that. Um, since he can change the other dude's types. That's totally cool, though. Because um, it's not quite a move. It takes a little bit longer to set up. And it's using, you know, 16% of your team for that. Um, and so that's totally fine. And it obviously, it, they still have some sort of control over it. So he's cool. Soak is not. Um, as far as 5th gen goes, everything that's still unreleased, both abilities, pokes, and item-wise, obviously those aren't allowed. Um, the 4th gen, the Rotom forms, obviously since they're not allowed on Wi-Fi, um, if you're playing a Wi-Fi match, those aren't going to be able to be played there. Um, should you guys use a PO and agree to it, that's fine though. But that's something you may have to talk about with your opponent. Maybe, maybe not. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Where else are we? Um, oh yeah. If you ha if don't see your name on the uh, tournament brackets out of the what there's seventy or sorry ninety seven people total, um, there are a few people who posted that they only have PO or they're like my Wi-Fi is really bad right now it's kind of iffy so I don't know if I can play. Um, there's a few people like less than five 
that uh, I left off on the bracket for reasons like those. Um, let's, be, let's face it, Wi-Fi already kind of disconnects like 40% of the time as it is for people with working Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi ain't working, then that's going to be obviously even more impossible. Um, and as far as like PO only, I think most of the people here are going to be using Wi-Fi the majority of the time. Um, maybe somewhere else PO only would be okay. It's certainly an option, but it's not, you know, the main arena. So those might be reasons why if you're one of the couple people that were left off, that would be why. Um, what other, what else do I have on this little sticky note again? The sticky note is back. It's just the flip side of it. Um, as far as events go, this one was kind of funny. It was really mixed results for both gens. Um, so with the fourth gen, it looks like just the Wish events are being banned, which is Bliss, Hypno, and Licky, as far as I know. Um, we're not obviously going to ban, you know, Hypno itself, just, you know, the Wish event moves for them. Um, but then other people brought up event, or questions about the events, like specific event moves, like Aurosphere, Reiku. Um, <sighs> frog my throat as I say that. Um, but obviously because it's stab attack only, you can't use that anyway. So it's probably not going to be much of an issue. You know, Surf Pikachu, for example, he can't use it anyway. So um, in 4th gen, it's just going to be the Wish events that's banned. And then in 5th gen, Smoke and Standard, you know, whatever the hell, anything goes, um, that are the most current updated rules as far as that's concerned. Um, you know, Wish Ments, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, event, if it's whatever the hell. Um, we'll go Smoke and Standard for 5th just because it's going to make things that much easier for everybody. Um, and hell, you guys would know more about that than me, so I don't need to go getting in the way of things. Um, what else was there? Ch -ch 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 rule breaks. Um, oh yeah, as far as uh, if, some, if you think one of your opponent breaks a rule during the game, um, this happened before in a previous tournament. People would just immediately disconnect and be like, this dude broke a rule, I win. And then it turns out sometimes he may or may not have been correct, so if you think somebody broke a rule in your match, just send them a quick message. Be like, hey, this just happened. I think this is, is the scenario. If I'm right, you know, blah, blah, then I probably just get the win through disqualification on this. But at least play the rest of the match out just in case you're wrong because um, some of these are kind of ambiguous and uh, some of them I obviously understand are, you know, specific exceptions like rapid spin, metronome assist, um, normalize, um, things like that while Endeavor, um, S-Toss, Nightshade are going to be banned. Um, counter and Mirror Code are fine. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that may or may not necessarily make sense to 100% of the crowd, which I understand. Um, so ch -ch -ch -ch, I think that's everything that needed to be gone over, or at least all of the specific like changes and things like that. Um, specific questions people had that they wanted to address or wanted me to address um the item list uh, i guess i'll repaste the item list in the description even though it's still in the previous vid um again if your six letter word has to start with you know you have to lead with the guy that starts the first letter if there's for example somebody had a specific question member and there's two m's in there you can start whichever M you want and, you know, change between as long as one of the M's is starting. Um, things like that. I believe that covers everything. Um, with the Swiss rounds, okay, um, since it is a Swiss tournament, one disadvantage, unfortunately, to Swiss is that everyone must finish the round before the next one can start. So unlike with brackets, if, you know, people next to each other who, have, who are paired up, you know, they've played, they can still advance while perhaps other people are lagging behind. Unfortunately, with Swiss, everyone has to finish. Um, um, so that, that slightly could be a problem. Um, let me know if it comes, you know, up towards towards the deadline of a round and you haven't been able to contact your opponent or whatever. Let me know so I at least know which one of you is active. Otherwise, it'll just be labeled as a one-point draw. A win is three points. A buy is a win, which is three points. Um... So just let me know. I have to kind of know who's who's in and who's not. Um, if you want to drop, you know, let me know after a round that you're gonna drop, and I can just take you out, and so you won't, you know, take up space for the rest of the the Swiss round. So it's kind of cool like that. Um, if you flat out don't show, um, I won't. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Like if I drop you immediately or give you a pairing for the next round and essentially give him, you know, I'm not quite sure. 
Um, but if you don't show at all, I'll probably keep you in just for that one extra round and then drop you myself. Um, so Swiss is kind of nice like that. There doesn't have to be full cooperation. If you want to be a punk, then I can just get you the hell out of there. Um, disconnect rules, again, it, it's literally impossible to have a consistent and accurate way to enforce that because people can just unplug their router or flip the power switch on their handheld. Um, so there is no good way to police that myself. So um, part of the reason we have, I always run such funky, messed up, weird rules that are totally aren't standard and things like that, um, is so that hopefully you guys don't take it super hardcore serious and like make a big deal out of it. Um, and that way you can just be more casual, more fun about things. Like if somebody, you know, if there's a disconnect and you know that chances are you were going to lose that match and, you know, own up to it. If you guys have to debate it, then that's fine. Just figure out something that works for both of you. You know, whatever you guys can agree on to resolve the dispute that's fine. Just let me know the, the end result of that dispute is all that I need to know. Um, so leave that there. Obviously, there's going to be times where people disagree, and then I'll have to shake my fist at both of you and solve something. Um, but that'll come as it comes. Um, so yeah, that's plus especially with Swiss rounds. Um, if it is just one match that gets a loss, like that's not. You know, there's going to be six rounds, so you can make up for that. Should there be a disconnect in the game that you were going to lose anyway, you know. So hopefully. Um, I can trust you guys to be a little bit more honest and a little bit more fair. Um, it's not some hardcore, super serious thing. So, which is part of the reason that I always do funky stuff like this, which, you know, gets a lot of hate, but it gets a lot of fun too. So, um, speaking of getting a lot of fun, um, a lot of people think it's going to be kind of cool to like see some of these matches and see what people are doing. Um, obviously like different moves are going to be necessary to be used. Different pokes are going to be necessary to be used and things like that. Um, just other creative things. Um, I mentioned in the last vid, if you guys want to send me one of your tournament vids um, to put up just to showcase like some of the uniqueness of this, um, a few people have been talking movesets with. like They're using some hilarious moves, and stuff like that would be cool to show. So um, I'll certainly post a tournament vid for you guys if you want to showcase something specific. Just mention it to your opponent first and make sure he's okay with it. Because um, some people don't want to put up theirs until the tournament's over. Some people might not want theirs to go up, period. Um, so make sure it's okay with your opponent first. Thus, I'm going to assume it is okay with your opponent first. And if I get any, I'm just going to put them up. So um, make sure all that is covered. And I believe that's everything that I needed to address. Um, the brackets will be in the description. Let me know. Obviously in the 4th gen, because it's 37 people, one of you guys has a buy already. So, unfortunately, that's you know a game you don't get to play, but it still counts as a win, so that's cool. Um, at the end of the 6 rounds, it breaks into a top 8, and then single elimination bracket from there for the top 8. Um, so, it's not like you necessarily have to just flat out win this, or you have lost, because tiebreakers obviously interchange who's going to be what and where, even if they have the same record. So... Um, that's why there's enough rounds where it's able to split things up based on the number of people enough so that there is a legitimate top eight at that point. Um, so that's going to be everything for now. Um, obviously you guys are going to have time. Let's see the, let's see. Today is the second. Oh, today's Groundhog Day. Sick. I love that movie. Um, which means Friday is the third, Saturday is the fourth and Sunday is the fifth Super Bowl Sunday which would leave the 12th. Okay, so the 12th then will be the end of the first round. Hopefully by then you guys have obviously played one or two rounds already, but um, just because some people might need it. I know some people need to still breed their teams, have extra time, things like that. Um, that'll be the absolute deadline for the first round, and then hopefully we'll go faster from there on. And I guess that's about everything. So... Um, Again, if you guys have any additional questions, um, I think I responded to like 80 different things on the first vid. I'll respond to everything again um, in the comments if you guys have any. And uh, just let me know with a comment or a PM. Um, I suppose PM would probably be better um, as far as results go. Um, I would like to find a way to include score as a tiebreaker, but since I used a website to like organize everything into a bracket that I could use and then it'll do all the math for me which I you know would be really nice I can't find a way to do the tiebreaker but keep track of it anyway and just let me know what the score is just in case um, I might just end up doing all that crap manually now that the bracket is at least set up so um, that's probably probably all that we need um, 
I think you guys at this point should know exactly what's going on. If not, obviously there's two videos now where you can find that out on your own. A little bit of proactiveness is always good. So thanks for watching guys. Happy gaming. Good luck. And you know, we'll discuss more as it shows up. And uh, I might not even, who knows if I need to make another update or not. But uh, that's going to be all for this. So once again, I suck with conclusions. Um, yeah, whatever. So if you're interested in watching the Super Bowl, let me know what your pick is because that's always fun. Um, I think you guys mostly know where I'm going on that. Although I don't think they're going to win, but um, we'll see. So thanks for watching. Good luck. Take it easy. Let me know if you have any questions, um, whatever on the rules, if your team is ready or not. Uh, get in touch with your opponent. Um, the bracket name is his YouTube or her YouTube name, so it's pretty easy to figure it out. So that's going to be all, guys. Take it easy. Peace.